Hey guys, I'm Mango here. So today I'm gonna do a video on the X56. This is the newer, newer version, I guess the renewed version, the black and gray one. Uh, there's the joystick, but we're mo mainly focusing on this one today. That doesn't matter. So I had a problem with this guy, the throttle, nothing else. So the problem was that I was hitting about right there, right at 50%. And see that mark? Look, watch, I'm gonna move the joystick. That indicator where I'm actually at, that's 50% close to whatever whatever it is. This would be right there when this throttle was right there. You guys get me? We I thought it was a software um, thing, but um, but no, it wasn't. It was actually a hardware. And today I'm gonna show you guys how you could fix it if you want to open up the this guy right here I'll show you guys how and right now. so what you guys want to do first obviously uh, unplug it make sure it's not connected USB wise and now there's gonna be 15 screws on the back I think they're 15 not the corner ones but 15 and we're gonna just and I'm gonna speed this through so you guys can see what's going on alright guys so this is the base plate of the X56 throttle the gray version so this is inside so once you unscrew everything there's nothing connected to the base plate so you guys should be fine do this at your own risk so I'm gonna put this guy here zoom in hopefully just enough okay so so this is what was happening I was oops two more screws right there okay so pretty much what was happening I was going at 50% at the markings pretty much 50% right there and on my and on the software Windows and the Logitech this was pretty much a dead zone I was getting no thrust but from right it's pretty much halfway of all of my uh, physically thrust you know you can pretty much see that right there from right here where it is right now to there I would get 0 to 100 thrust zero to a hundred if you if you guys get where I'm going you know so it's not a software thing if this is happening to your thruster then it's then it's actually a quality control or something not a quality control but these guys right here make sure it's unplugged so you don't want to short anything but what's happening is here I'm gonna have to show you guys sure you guys don't lose these. these are yeah these are very important screws and I'll just kind of mess up right there for a second okay now I'm going to show you guys so let's see if I can show you guys okay so hey let's see that go those teeth connect these teeth that's a throttle actually going back and forth back and forth so that corresponds to, come on, focus, Z zero to a hundred or whatever, whatever it is, you know? Okay, so let's see, let's see if I can put it, uh, let's see, I can't do it, it won't let me or what? Okay, it won't let me. Oh, it's not connected. Sorry. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, now, I am going to connect it this just to show you guys what I'm talking about right here. I know this is not kind of first time making this kind of video, so bear with me, guys. So, okay, let's see if I can get this zoomed in. Okay. I don't know. Uh, okay, okay, let's see if I can get both of these screens zoomed in. So you guys can see, let me move that all the way on the bottom. Okay. Kind of watch that circle, but watch how many times I spin it. Okay, that's that's at an end right there. But okay, it should be gone. See see how the circle is not moving, but but the wheel right here is moving at my thumb. Okay. And right there we go. 
I think that was close to half a rotation or a rotation. I don't know. I'm not even too sure at this point. But that rotation was the dead zone for my throttle. Both sides. Both this side and that side. So what you're gonna you guys are gonna have to do if this happens, watch, watch. Okay. You guys are gonna have to kind of align it again if you guys want. Remember again at your own risk. Okay, so we're at, we're barely at the dead zone. Okay, this is where the throttle should be starting. See how it starts now? But yet, once the throttle ends, you still have a little bit left over. Just about that much. But yet, that that's still... Okay, watch. Watch where the circle stops. Right there, right? And my thumb stopped. But watch. I'm still going on that. That, just that enough is the dead zone. Okay. Watch, I'm going to start again, but watch the circle. I'm going to go the other way. Watch carefully. I know you guys... Uh... Okay, barely started. See what I mean? And there you go. Then it starts. So, pretty much you guys are going to have to align that with those teeth in a way where your throttle starts from 0 to 100, but it actually measures zero to 100 by the writing wise if you guys want it you know but i kind of had it jank i just kind of did it simplify just to see if it worked and it did work so now i'm gonna actually refine it to a point where it's perfectly spot on so i'm gonna unlock both throttles so just differently so i can see so i can pretty much make it perfect right on point so i'm gonna put it right here so right there just so you guys can see and move this guy up a little okay i'm gonna have to make it in a way where my throttle does okay that's zero right there and so that guy's right there the zero well well oh i gotta loosen the other side because i accidentally did I did do the other side, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm sorry about this. But I am going to have to open up this side. Be very, 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 very careful. We do have this plugged in. I don't want you guys dropping anything. Ah, come on. I don't even have the right tools for this guys I have a piece of paper in here to kind of it's actually magnetic but this just doesn't go all the way down in those uh, very thin shafts so I just had to improvise okay so I'm just take it off oh no I lost it okay you didn't do it second guys just had to turn it off There it is. Okay. Oh shit. That was a light. Alright guys. So let's do this. Okay. Now they're both loose. The actual teeth of that. Okay. Now what I want to do is bring the throttle all the way to zero pretty much. Bring it to zero to a point where it's actual zero. I don't I don't really care about that right there I actually want it nice and perfect right there that's zeroed out all the way on the bottom actually so what I want to really do but here's the tricky part you guys are gonna have to do it it's it's a little tricky um, okay let me see Wait, let me just get that one again Okay, remember both throttles. Alright. Where is that lining up? Just barely right there. Okay. So what I'm gonna have to so you guys are gonna have to Okay. Okay, right there is the starting of the actual indication in the software. Right there. Yeah, I moved a little now. It's 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 patient. It's a waiting game, guys. 
So once I'm done, I'll get back to you guys in a moment. All right, guys, I'm back. So I adjusted them. So this is what happened. This is okay. See these guys right here. This guy, I had to rotate it in a way where it would match up with that and also that guy as well. Not the best explainer, but you guys are gonna have to take the hunch for it or something. I don't know. But if you look at my program now, let's see. Here, what up? I'm gonna redo this. Give me one minute. Alright guys. Alright, so I adjusted everything so that's how much dead zone I was getting. But it wasn't in half. Okay, so it's not totally half right now, but this is the best I can get and I don't want to mess it up even more. But the fact that this was still right here. That right there, this throttle right there. Don't worry, this is just all little grease or whatever on the throttle. I can clean that with alcohol, but but now all the way back, that's the furthest I can go without, you know, because I, I don't think these they actually made them right perfectly. A thousand and twenty-three, that's how where it should be, I believe. I think so. Zero right there, zero right there. I'm going up to fifty percent. Technically like by twelve if I can. Okay, five ten. And just a little bit less than fifty percent, but better than nothing. And then going up, going up, going up. And I already hit. I'm already hitting maximum right about there, right before the hundred mark. So, so I still have all this dead zone, but it was better than this. It was better than this, you know? And now I got that much. Now I actually got full, nice and smooth. I don't really care about going all the way forward as much. Because I can always act what I do now. With that, I have the DCS F16C Viper. Afterburner right there. That's all I gotta do. Activate my afterburner. And I'll, and I'll just automatically... It should hopefully go to afterburner. So yeah. That's if you're having this problem right here, dead zone, pretty much half your throttle, physically, and then the rest is actual throttle, you know? But now, that's how you fix it. You go inside the program, and you pretty much fix it. So, yeah. That's how you get it done, the boys. And I'll try to get a review in, probably within a couple weeks or so. Alright, take care, man. Good luck.